Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're well. This is Imran from Ims Tech, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get started with jQueries. Just um, just to start off with, a, just a quick example of what jQueries are. Um, jQueries they use J the JavaScript li library, and basically they make they allow jQueries allow our websites to become more sophisticated, and you know without using Flash, without having to go through the whole difficult process. Um, we can use jQueries to create some elegant websites. So this is a quick example of um, a slider. So this is, these, these are images, and if I press next, next, I can go through my different images, and it's a similar version here. Go next, and this is a vertical one. So if I press down, I can go through. Another example of jQuery. So this is a demo of the color picker. So if I move the color picker, you can see at the bottom the colors change. Also, the hexadecimal number changes. So I can go to red and and so on and black and and so on yeah um, the, ver the next example is going to be one for an image gallery so over here you can see that's one image I've clicked on everything in the background is blanked out the image comes to the front nice and smart uh, makes our website look really sophisticated you can also press escape or close and this is a gallery so you can press next and it gives you the next image next image and loading and then the next image so you can press close on that one the next example I'm going to show you guys is a form. So if you might, can you imagine filling in a contact form and the, if I press the demo, the person can actually type in their information and press submit. And basically that's a really nice, sophisticated way to actually fill out a particular form. Um, so that's just a couple of examples. We're going to go through a very basic example today and basically make a, a start. Now the first thing I need to do is go to jQuery.com and press the download button right here and then go to current releases then right here on the mini field I'm going to right click and press save link as so this is a very important st step right click not the release notes the mini field right click and press save link as I'm just going to save it all on my desktop and I'm just going to press save um, now I'm um, the, the text the web editor or the HTML editor that I'm going to be using is going to be Dreamweaver. Um, you could use a free one. I think there's a three free version uh, for Microsoft, and I'll put the link in the description for you guys. The one I'm going to be using is um, Dreamweaver. So over here, this is the file that's been downloaded, the jQuery file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it into this other folder that I set up, and in there is just the jQuery site, and it's got a, a subfolder which is called scripts. So I've put that inside the script. So now we've set that up. Um, I'm going to maximize that. Now I'm ready for my next step. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, file. And it's going to be a HTML file. I'm just going to call it index. And this is going to be going to be our very first example. Double click, gone inside, and going into code view. We are now ready for our next step okay so now we need to reference the file that we've downloaded the first thing I need to do is go ahead and do that right there and what I'm going to do is it go, going into the header tag um, so this is where the header tag opens this is where it closed so I've just created some space so I can type in my script tag so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go into my pointy brace or pointy bracket or whatever they're called and going to type in script and inside there I need to give it a, a script type uh, the script type is going to be JavaScript so uh, JavaScript so it's text slash JavaScript and the source um, SCR double click I'm going to double click browse and the source is going to be on the root folder script and the jQuery so that's where I've saved it which is script jQuery if you can, as you can see which press OK and then close this first tag press space now I need to actually close it properly so slash and script so that's completely closed the script tag so that's referenced it correctly the next thing I need to do is, is this is kind of repetitive but again uh, open this and type in script and then give it a type which is JavaScript 
and then close this particular one create some spaces and again slash script okay so that's the the first step um, now we're actually going to start typing in our Java, JavaScript and, and actually making our alert happen. So what we're actually going to create is when the page has loaded, an alert box or a warning box will appear. And in that warning box, I'm going to type in, why not, hello world. Okay, so we'll type in hello world. So when the internet browser is completely um, generated the HTML code, it will create a message box to say hello world okay so okay once we've got this um, bit of code sorted now this is where we start typing in our JavaScript what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the dollar sign and then open my brackets uh, quotes and inside the quotes I'm going to type in document and then close my brackets so that when this document dot ready so this is the method R E A D Y, if I can spell. So when this document is ready, what is going to happen is a function is going to be called. So going inside, I'm going to type in function and open close that bracket. And then I'm going to type in a curly brace and then close my curly brace. Now the one thing to remember is with JavaScript we need to actually have a semicolon to end our particular function or method or line of code. So I'm going to type in a semicolon. So when this fun so when this document is ready, meaning it's fully loaded, this particular function, so an anonymous function is going to be called and this function code is going to be typed in here. So the code that we're going to actually do is I'm going to type in alert and open close brackets so this is a, a function that's predefined um, I'm assuming it's predefined inside jQuery so because I'm typing in some text I'm going to put it inside quotes and I'm going to type in hello world oops if I can spell I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to type in sub me so subscribe to me. So hello world, subscribe to me. So okay, let's um, don't forget my uh, semicolon. Yep. So just take a look at it. it's a very basic code. I'm going to now press F12 on my keyboard, which is going to save this. So it's opened it up in a in Internet Explorer, and what's happened is exactly why I was, uh, expected it to happen. Um, was as soon as the page was ready and it was open and loaded, I got a message that said "Hello world, sub me." Yeah, um, so that's a basic um, example of what could happen. Yeah, so again, "Hello world, sub me," and it'd be exactly the same in different browsers as well. Um, let's see if I can do that in. Okay, I've not got a Google Chrome um, assigned to my default, but anyway. Um, so basically just a quick run through so this is where i referenced the javascript file which is put inside my script folder and then going inside here inside my script tags which by the way is all inside my header tag um, i've gone inside and i've said um, dollar sign document dot ready given an anonymous function opened the uh, curly braces and inside the curly braces i typed in my um, code which was an alert um, hello world so this this is basically a basic example the first example to sort of go and practice with um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial I, um, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe if you'd comment if you'd rate my video and yeah let's take care and keep on learning